Look out, vampire. Uh-uh, don't even think about it. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. To investigate those noises we heard earlier. Oh, my goodness. What is that? Is this on our side? Look at the... Hello? What is this? Hello? Oh, no, Gore. I've never seen anything like it. <clears throat> All right, well. Does Israel even know this? this is up here? He must. They must have all heard it, but apparently... It's peaceful. All right, well. Pick up some of these things. I'm sure Orion would want to display some of these Dawn God items in the museum. All right, Gore, I think you're going to have to go back to Elysium Estates and rest after your, I don't know, your attack by the Forsworn. You, you seem to be a little bit unsteady on your feet. Probably have a concussion, maybe some broken ribs. I got to do something about this hand. Come on, let's go. Well, at least that's one mystery that's been solved. Some giant. I don't know if I want to call it a creature or an abomination, but apparently it's working for us, with us. I don't know, where, where would you ever deploy a creature like that? Would you send it to Castle Volkaha? So many questions. So many secrets, so much going on here. And who is this vampire that came here asking for me? Oh, father. Look where you run, oh. So let's hear it. It's you. You probably weren't expecting to see me again. <laughs> you probably weren't expecting to see me again. You're full of jokes. No, I was never expecting to see you again. You probably weren't expecting to see me again. What are you doing here? I'd rather not be here either. But I needed to talk to you. Really? Me? It's important, so please just listen before your friend here loses his patience. That's my father. It's... Well, it's about me and the Elder Scroll that was buried with me. Uh-huh. What about the scroll? The reason I had it and why I was down there. It all comes back to my father. Your father? I'm guessing you figured this part out already, but my father's not exactly a good person. Oh, really? By vampire I standards. couldn't tell. He wasn't always like that, though. Uh-huh. a turn. 
He stumbled onto this obscure prophecy and just kind of lost himself in it. So you're trying to tell me there's such a thing as good vampires that don't prey on living people and drain them of blood and kill them and massacre them. You're telling me there are good vampires. Perhaps you're one of them. Huh. Tell me what you mean by he lost himself. He just became absorbed, obsessed. He was kind of sick, actually. The prophecy said that vampires would no longer need to fear the sun. Hmm. For someone who fancied himself as vampire royalty, that's pretty seductive. Anyway, my mother and I didn't feel like inviting a war with all of Tamriel, so we tried to stop him. That's why I was sealed away with a scroll. Okay, well, what does this have to do with the Dawn God? And you know, before you even answer that question, I want you to know how much your kind has hurt people like me and my father. Our entire village was destroyed by vampires. My mother is dead. And you come here looking for sympathy? Tell me what all this has to do with the Dawn God. I'm sorry. I had heard there were vampire hunters here. Oh, don't I get they sarcastic. I a vampire plot to enslave the rest of the world. Was I wrong? How dare you talk to me like that? So you're saying you want us to help you? That was the plan, yes. What? Assuming the rest of them can trust a vampire. Come on, I'll need you to help convince them. Me? Father, we need to kill her right now. All right, you've heard what it has to say. Now tell me, is there any reason I shouldn't kill this blood-sucking fiend right now? No, there is no reason. <laughs> it's like we, we both should do it. I can't believe it. Mm, 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 mm. Wow. There's nothing more that I would like to join you in killing her. But I suppose if I can just calm down for a minute. Just a minute, because my blood is boiling and I know yours is too. I know we feel the same way. We are cut from the same cloth. Your wife, my mother, dead because of people like her. But we have to set our hatred aside and try to see the larger picture. Set my hatred aside? Not a chance. It's what keeps me strong. You know what? I agree with you. It keeps me strong, too. It's what's driven me for all these years. It's what's brought me here to Skyrim. And I, I can't say this. I don't trust her either, and I don't believe her. You better know what you're doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I want to kill it her. It can stay for now. It, but if it so much as lays a finger on anyone here, was I'll hold you responsible. Filled with anger. Got it. You hear me? Don't feel like a guest because you're not. You're a resource. You're an asset. In the meantime, you're a creature. You make me regret my sudden outburst of tolerance and generosity, because if you do. Your friend here is going to pay for it. Thank you for your kindness. I'll remember it the next time I'm feeling hungry. Oh, you... So, you, in case you didn't notice the giant thing on my back, I have the Elder Scroll with me. Listen. Whatever it says, it will have something that can help us stop my father. But, of course, neither of us can read it. I don't appreciate you being condescending like this. Everybody knows that you've been carrying that damn scroll on your back all this time, from the moment I first laid eyes on you. So I don't think you've got one up on us. And if, if you can't read the scroll, and we can't read the scroll, then who can? Well, the moth priests are the only ones I've heard of who can do it. Moth priests? They spend years preparing before they start reading, though. Not that it helps us anyway, because they're all half a continent away. 
in Cyrodiil. Some Imperial scholar arrived in Skyrim a few days ago. I was staking out the road when I saw him pass by. Maybe that's your moth priest. Do you know where he's staying now? No, and I'm not going to waste men looking. We're fighting a war against your kind, and I intend to win it. You want to find him? Try talking to anyone who'd meet a traveler. Innkeepers and carriage drivers in the big cities, maybe. But you're on your own. Any idea how you're going to find a moth priest? Skyrim's a pretty big place. Where would a moth priest actually go? Well, back before I... You know. The College of Winterhold was the first place I'd think to go for any kind of magic or historical thing. The wizards know about all kinds of things that people probably shouldn't know about. Actually, now that I think of it, I'm going to come along with you. What? I've been really wanting to get out and explore a bit. I don't want you to come with me. Will you tell me what you know about Elder Scrolls first? I mean, as much as anyone. Not a lot. You'd figure a couple hundred years locked away with one would have given me some insight, but no. Turns out you don't learn much from just sleeping with something. Hmm. I guess we'll have to just keep looking for that moth priest then. I guess so. But I want you to wait here. I don't want you to come with me. I'll be here. Yes, Rand, she's your guest. Because I know everybody wants her dead. I thought I saw... Yes, look at this. Is this Jade statue? This is something that, um, yo, know, some Isran would... Not Isran. Orion would want in the Dragonborn Gallery. I knew it would come to this one day. I know. I knew. And no one believed. All right, well, I'm going to set off and look for this moth. Be on your guard at all times. I Avoid will. sleep if you can. Sleep is for the weak. Now, you're one to talk when I came in here. Earlier, you were in bed sleeping. Look at you. Is that where you're headed now? Oh, thank goodness. Because that's really a poor example. Even with all my preparations, we can't be too careful. The monsters could strike us at any moment. Don't I know it? All right. I've got some stops to make, but I'm going to go the out there. The vampires will show us no mercy. <laughs> They've proven that. Yes, they have. You know, you and Serene are a lot alike. It's like it's hard to get a word in here. If we're eyes. going to survive this, we're going to have to be as ruthless as yes. our enemies. Yes, yes we are. And I'm going to need to take some precautions. Gore is going to need some wrong? medical attention. Yes, he was injured fighting the Forsworn. Is something I, wrong? Yes, and I have a broken hand from opening the crypt that Serana was in. So is something we're, wrong? We're going to have to take some precautions. All right, we're off. What is you it? look after Serana, and everybody better be alive when I come back. Now, I mean in the dawn guard. If she's dead, I don't care. Don't let her kill anybody. Go or come on. Let's get you some medical attention. Aha. Uh -huh. Just the person I was hoping to see. And you look bored. All right. Gore needs medical attention. I need you to stay here and rest. Just remember, everything's better bloody. All right. Stay here. You sure? Yes. Well, all right. Probably time I head on somewhere else. Never know where my stomach will take me. Well, for today, it's going to be here in bed. And we'll get somebody to get you a bowl of hawker stew. 
Sherry, I need you. It's so good to see you again. You too, and I've got so much to tell you. Need something? Follow me. Lead the way. It's been a long time. All right, is this Vladimir over here cooking? Make sure um, a physician comes to take a look at Gore. He probably has a concussion, maybe some broken ribs from fighting the Forsworn. And I need to go and see about doing something about this hand so I can use it in combat. I don't know why it's not healing. Magic, poison, I don't know. All right. Let's go make some other preparations. Gallery. Gore is resting up from his injuries. And we need to find this moth priest. So, according to the discussion we had at Fort Dawnguard, we could either go to the College of Winterhold or we could ask shopkeepers, innkeepers, if they have any idea if or when or where they may have seen a moth priest. So let's go in the Winking Skeever. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. How are your students coming along? Possibly. What is it? Hey, what? You need a good rumor or two. A vampire. Especially. What is it? Try not to play favorite. Hail, traveler. What brings you to the tavern? Yes, headmaster. I was just passing through and decided to stop by. And once you stopped by, then what? You like purpose, stranger. Maybe I can provide it. Who are you? Just an orc with a lot of time to kill. You're not just an orc. Not with those eyes. All right, then. Don't let me see you again. <clears throat> um, Corpulus. Welcome to the Winking Skeever, friend. Yes. Have you heard anything about a moth priest passing through? Have I heard anything? It was the talk of the city for three days straight. Ain't too often we get a visitor like that. Where is he now? Oh, he just left a short while ago. He said he'd finished up his work and it was time to move on. That's all I can tell you. He asked me not to let anyone know where he was going. I suppose he didn't want the attention. It's very important that I find him right away. Ah, well, in that case, I'll tell you what I know. He took the road southwest out of town, and he said he was going to be crossing over the Dragon Bridge. That's all he told me. Hope it helps. Thank you. I appreciate it. Remember the winking skeever next time your foot's sore. Oh, Sherry. Drinking ale and dancing. Come on. We need to get out of here. And we'll see it quite All right, we need to head to Dragon Bridge. I'm still concerned about this broken hand. What I've done is crafted this claw that acts as Damn a storm cloaks. Oblivion take them. A brace, Every a splint. One or two for a veteran. So it's I can attack without damaging my hand any further. So that's where we are in my gloves, gauntlets. Trashed. Tried to repair them, but just couldn't. You know you so can anyway, this is where we are. Uh oh, we've been spotted. But by who? What's going on? Alright, 
I think they're gone, whoever it was. Couldn't have just been a bear. All right, here we are, Dragon's Bridge. Let's see what we can find out. Uh-oh. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. I've got a letter and a lot of gold. Something about it being your, uh, oh, inheritance. What? Oh, and sorry for your loss. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Who died? What? Jawanin died. It's the Red God Fletcher that I met. In solitude. Well, it was nice of him to leave me money. I wonder how he died. That's a shame. You think it was vampires? I hope not. If it isn't the slayer of the Glenmoral witches. Yes, that's me. You, companion. I got a witch head right here with me. If you want to check it out. Oh, I should be talking to these people. Hey. Is God. I don't suppose you didn't chant my sword. Dull old blade can barely cut butter. Um, new to enchanting. You probably should get somebody more skilled. Anyhow, do you know anything about a moth priest visiting Dragon Bridge? Ah, so that was a moth priest then. He rode through town not long ago with an escort of soldiers. They didn't stop, just headed south across the Dragon Bridge. Okay, well, thank you, God. Mm hmm. Sherry, let's go. So whoever spotted us, they must have run off when they saw that we were in town. They didn't try to come in town to attack us. doesn't look good. No. Uh, don't tell me. A vampire. Hmm. So they attacked the moth priest's carriage and guards. At least they got one of them. read this note. I have new orders for you. Prepare an ambush just south of the Dragon Bridge. Take the Moth Priest to Four Bears Hideout, Holdout, for safekeeping until I can break his will. Malchus. This has just become a rescue mission, Sherry. I hope you're ready and not rusty from sitting around Elysium Estates. I'm not at full power with a broken hand and missing gauntlets. So I'm going to be relying on you. I don't know what's going on with me. Blood, look at this. Maybe it's all this divinity that I have coursing through me that's fighting against the werewolf inside. Uh-oh, what is that? Let's hear. Look out! Vampire! Uh-uh, don't even think about it. Mm, 
can't believe they came up on us like that. Well, I guess we're in the right place. hold out. Let's go. something you see every day. Oh, and look. There's somebody on patrolling. Could be vampires. Come on, let's go. Uh oh, a death hound. There's another one. Get it. Burn the vampire. Oh. Oh. Somebody else is here. Get up. soldier. of the things. Something new just pops up. All right. What is this bet? Wait, is there somebody in here? Sherry. There is. There's a man inside. That must be the moth priest. All right. How do we get him out of here? Certainly 
not that way. Here's a flawless ruby. Let me take that. Oh, wait. He's got something. Oh, look at this amulet of the gargoyle. While wearing this amulet, cast in summon gargoyle will summon an additional gargoyle for 60 seconds. And summon gargoyles are more resilient against magical harm. Hmm, I don't think he even summoned one. Oh, waystone focus. I think I might need this. Yes, look up here. Activate. But my master is dead, and his enemies will what? pay. What's wrong with him? Why is he glowing like that? What is he doing? I knew I heard something. Moth priest. Oh! Oh! Sure, I get him! Oh! Oh! Thank you. It wasn't me. You were fighting. Really? I could see Who was it? Eyes, but I could not control my actions. Thank you for breaking that foul vampire's hold over me. Oh, your eyes are back. Okay. Well, you're welcome. Although I had to do a lot of running. I owe you a debt for the timely rescue. Yes. Are you all right? <sighs> I'm quite all right, thanks to you. Dexian Evicus is my name. I'm a moth priest of the White Gold Tower. Oh, so it is These you. These vampires claimed they had some purpose in store for me, but they wouldn't say what. Probably hoping to ransom me, the fools. I know why they needed you, because we need you for the same reason. You do? All right then, enough mysteries. <laughs> You're funny. We are called the Dawn God, and we need you to read an Elder Scroll. You have an Elder Scroll? Remarkable. If my knowledge of history serves me, I recall that the Dawn God was an ancient order of vampire hunters. Yes. I will be happy to assist you with your Elder Scroll. Just tell me where I need to go. You can find us at Fort Dawn God, near Stendar's Beacon. Very well. I'll hurry on my way there before more of those vampires turn up. All right, good. You've arrived just in time. I think those vampires were getting hungry. <laughs> sure. Sherry, thank you so much. All that fire. And me with this werewolf form. It's vulnerable to it. I think I was even wearing the, the circlet, the wayward circlet, and it, it, I could see my health going down. All right, but we're done here. We've thwarted the plans of the vampires. Now it's time for us to get back to Thank the Divines for Fort Dawn God. You're welcome. Oh! Get her! We 
We've got vampires that infiltrated the, the fort again. Yes, I know my my cloak was uh, singed and badly damaged from the fight with Dexian. Oh no, something else. Oh, get it. Get up. Anybody else? There's no place is safe now. All right, come on. Be on your guard. Dad, we're finally taking the fight to those monsters. Well, they're taking the fight to us too. We just encountered two vampires on the way here. I hope the the moth priest made it here safely. He probably followed him. Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> okay, well, I'm glad what you guys are, are standing on guard. Need something? There were two vampires that attacked us. You need to intensify. Step up I... your, your guard, your patrol. All right, Dexian made it. He wasn't attacked. Father? I'm impressed you could find a moth priest so quickly. Yeah, so am I. Does he have the scroll? Is everything ready? For the reading? Yeah. Just let the old man know when you're ready. Okay. Ah, hello there. Hello, I'm glad you made it safely. Ah, my rescuer. It's good to see you again. Thank you. Have my companions, my father in particular over here, made you feel welcome? It's not exactly the hospitality I'm used to. I'm not but surprised. But your man Isran has seen to my needs well enough. Okay, good. And might I add, this is a remarkable fortress. But that I it have is. colleagues back home that would love to study this place in detail. Well, you'll have to talk to Isran about that. So, are you prepared to read the Elder Scroll? Oh, most certainly. Let's find out what secrets the scroll can tell. Now, right. if everyone will please be quiet, I must concentrate. I see a vision before me. An image of a great bow. I know this weapon. It is Oriel's bow. Now a voice whispers saying, among the knight's children, a dread lord will rise. In an age of strife, when dragons return to the realm of men, darkness will mingle with light, and the night and the day will be as one. The voice fades and the words begin to shimmer and distort. But wait, there is more here. The secret of the bow's power is written elsewhere, I think there is more to the prophecy, recorded in other scrolls. Yes, I see them now. One contains the ancient secrets of the dragons, and the other speaks of the potency of ancient blood. My vision darkens, and I see no more. To know the complete prophecy, we must have the other two scrolls. I must rest now. The reading has made me weary. Come on, old man. You should get some rest. Oh. You again. Do you have a moment to talk? Oh, I suppose I probably don't have much choice. Do you have a moment to talk? Yes, go on. What's on your mind? That moth priest, Dexian. He said we needed two other Elder Scrolls. I think I know where we can start looking. Okay. Well, 
You know, you could have said something earlier when we were talking about finding somebody to read the scroll. But anyway, why, why didn't you say something earlier? Half the people in your little crew would just as soon kill me as talk to me. Yes, we would. That doesn't exactly make me want to open up. I see. I got a warmer welcome from my father. Now that's saying something. Hmm. Okay. Does Harkon even care about you anymore? You know, I've asked myself the same thing. I hoped that if he saw me, he might feel something again. But I guess I don't really factor in at this point. I don't even think he sees me as his daughter anymore. I'm just... a means to an end. So, where is this Elder Scroll? We need to find my mother, Valerica. She'll definitely know where it is. And if we're lucky, she actually has it herself. You said you didn't know where she went. The last time I saw her, she said that she'd go somewhere safe. Somewhere that my father would never search. Other than that, she wouldn't tell me anything. But the way she said it, someplace he would never search. It was cryptic, yet she called attention to it. Maybe your mother didn't trust you either. I certainly don't. That's always a possibility. She was almost as obsessed as my father by the time she shut me in. But I can't worry about that now. We need the scroll, and she's our only lead. Besides, I can't imagine a single place my father would avoid looking. And he's had all this time, too. Any ideas? Why would you ask me? I don't know anything about you, your father, vampires, except that they just need to be killed. So I'm not the person to ask. So... I'm going to say she's probably hiding in Castle Volkaha somewhere. Wait, that almost makes sense. There's a courtyard in the castle. I used to help pretend a garden there. All of the ingredients for our potions came from there. She used to say that my father couldn't stand the place. Too peaceful. Isn't that pretty risky, though, staying around the castle? Oh, absolutely. But my mother's not a coward. Hmm. That is... I don't think we'll actually trip over her there, but it's worth a look. They aren't going to let us use the front door. True, but I know a way we can get to the courtyard without arousing suspicion. Hmm. There's an unused inlet on the northern side of the island that was used by the previous owners to bring supplies into the castle. An old escape tunnel from the castle exits there. I think that's our way in. Okay, well, actually... I have some other things I need to do right now. Don't let me stand in your way then. I I'll won't. be at the dock whenever you're ready. Good. Yeah, I'll find you. Pleasant trip. <laughs>